Hi everyone, James here from Apps Events. With me today is Peter from Apps Events uh, as well, Google Technical Lead. We're excited today. We have a sneak peek of some new features which are coming to Google Classroom very, very soon. And we just wanted to share those out very quickly with you. Um, they're very early stage and still being worked upon, but they look very exciting and very helpful for educators in the upcoming months. The first one we're going to share, I will be walking through, and you can see in the background here, create a lesson plan within Google Classroom. So with the help of AI, you can automatically generate a lesson plan, and we'll look at that in a few moments. And Peter is here, and he will be sharing. So we will take a look at the new YouTube interactive questions feature, where you can now have automatically generated AI questions for your videos. Brilliant, so let's get started. Now, both of these features are quite new and they are a work in progress. So I think over the next few months, we'll see um, a lot of additions to these features, but already they look quite amazing. Within Google Classroom, and this will be rolling out to schools which are on the AI pilot program, which a school can actually sign up to. But right now we're on a demo domain. And so within Google Classroom, we have this additional tab called Labs. And under labs right now, we have this section here called create a lesson plan. And this is where you would go to create a lesson plan within Google Classroom. I'm just gonna hide this side menu and I go ahead and click on create a lesson plan. When we come into the window of creating a lesson plan, we have four items we need to enter, the target grade, the subject, the duration of the lesson, and the topic standard skill or keywords um, that the lesson is pertaining to. Obviously, this is very much in US English for this early release. Presumably, this would be up updated to your, uh, your location as and when it's fully launched. Okay, the first lesson we're going to um, create, we're going to create an algebra lesson plan. So we're going to do seventh grade. It's going to be a 30-minute class in mathematics. And we are going to create a lesson plan for simplifying expressions. So I type in the topic for my class, I have my grade level, and now I generate the learning objectives. When Google has generated the learning objectives, we can go ahead and we can review these. I can actually edit these if I want. I can see I've got three objectives down here, combining like terms, factoring, and the distributive property. Quite happy with all of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to generate my lesson plan. On the next screen, we have a couple of options. Um, for the instructional model, so two choices here. We can choose the basic template or the 5E's instructional model. We can then add additional components to the lesson. So this, I'm going to keep it as a default, and then you can add some magic. And again, I'll keep it as a default for this initial lesson plan. I now go ahead and generate the lesson plan. Give it a few seconds, and it will create the lesson plan for me. So. Here we've got just a, a quick warning that we should always review any generated content, any AI generated content. And so here we go, we have our lesson plan just down here. And we can see we have a section for materials, the opener, I do, we do, you do, and other sections down here. And if you notice for all of these sections, I have a choice of editing the section. So under differentiation, for example, I could go ahead and I could edit this section. I can change the name of this component of the lesson plan, or I can change what the students would be doing at this stage. I have the option to copy any component of a lesson plan to the clipboard, or I can delete that component on the lesson plan. If I'm happy with all of these, I can then simply go ahead and click on Export to Google Docs. When it's exported to Google Docs, of course, then it's going to appear in my drive, and I can then place this within my uh, lesson planning binder. I can then update it, I can edit it, or I can share it with other users on the domain. OK. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go and create another lesson plan. And this time, we're going to choose some of the advanced options within the lesson planning process. So this lesson plan, we are going to um, choose a subject of English. It's going to be a 50-minute lesson plan. And we are going to um, have a lesson plan for detecting lies and pre prejudice.
Okay, so now I'm going to generate the learning objectives for this. And we can see we have four learning objectives. I'm quite happy with these suggested learning objectives. And I go ahead and continue. And this time, instead of using the basic template, we're going to use a 5e's instructional model. If I look down here now, instead of using the default suggestions, I'm going to add in a class discussion and a reading component. So these will be adding components to my lesson plan. And then down here, we have add some magic. And so for this, as she is such a worldwide sensation, and I'm sure there are some Swifties out there, we'll add in Taylor Swift into this lesson plan. So I click on this, I click on generate lesson plan, and hopefully we will have a themed lesson plan around Taylor Swift. If I scroll down, we can see we have materials, engage, we we have our five E's. Under materials, it's suggesting we attach some Taylor Swift articles, pro and con, fact checking, and so on. And we can see throughout that we have our five E's lesson plan all generated for us. It recommends adding some quizzes, exit tickets, and differentiation. Of course, you can edit those. You have your own resources you can add into this. And again, if we're happy with this, we simply export to documents, and then it will sit within our Google Drive to do with what we want. So it's a great looking feature. Peter, what do you think of that? Yeah, I think it's going to be a very popular feature in the future. I particularly like how for teachers who might be new to you. That information there. So yeah, I think this is going to be uh, a popular new feature coming to Classroom. Absolutely. And it's not just one exciting feature we're here to share today. We're also going to be sharing the YouTube Interactive Questions AI creation feature. <laughs> we need a name for that. That's a mouthful. So Peter, I'm going to bring your screen in. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So for a while, we've had the ability to add YouTube videos uh, and add our own interactive questions to those videos. And we can do that by going to classwork. And I've got an assignment here I've already created about photosynthesis. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this assignment and then add a YouTube video. So under Education Plus, uh, we can add YouTube videos with interactive questions. And as I just mentioned, that's been around for, uh, that got launched la last year, I think. The new feature here is around AI suggested questions for your videos. So rather than you having to type in questions manually, the uh, AI will automatically suggest and add questions for you. So as you can see on some of these videos, we have some with suggested questions. So let's select this one on photosynthesis, which has six suggested questions for us. So now what I need to do is select add questions. And then as we can see along here, it's added several multiple choice questions for us. So let's select the first one. In here, we can see the question and we've got four different answers with the correct answer already added for us. Let's have a look at another one. So we've got another multiple choice question here. And again, it's added the correct answer for us with several other choices. And as a teacher, we've got full control over these. So we don't need to accept these questions. We could remove a question if we want to. We could add our own question or customize these responses. And let's have a look at what this looks like as a student. So let's press try as a student. So now we're in the student view and let's uh, jump ahead to our question here and we can see what that's gonna look like. Let's try answering this. Select the wrong answer. Uh, let's try again. And we got it right. Brilliant. And then the video will continue Many playing to the next question. What do you think of that, James? I think that's great. And I think with both of these features, a the common theme is it gives you a great starting point to save a lot of time. You may not want all of those questions, but I think it's such a quick thing 
to have them automatically added in and you can go and review them and it may give you ideas and inspiration about other ass assessments or questions you want to ask. Absolutely. And I think the other key thing here with both of the AI features in Google Classroom, which we looked at today, is that the teacher is still in full control. So you've got the ability to accept those suggestions. You can make modifications to those or disregard them and, you know, use something else. So the teacher is still in full control of the classroom. AI is just for a helpful uh, assistant, hopefully saving some, yeah, lots of time. That's great. Thank you, Peter. And thank you, everyone, for watching this quick update from Apps Events. We're all very excited to see how these features develop over the next few months. And I look forward to getting some feedback from people as they begin to use those. So from me and Peter, thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Bye.